to the county fair that one time and there was a bunch of guys that were singing in a booth that were barber shoppers. I'm going, I didn't know what it was. I said, what are you guys doing? What are you, what's this music all about? And that kind of thing. And they were telling me about it. And they invited me to come on down to the local chapter the next week, come on down there and just give it a try kind of thing. And so, why not? So, you know, I loved singing and it was just one more chance to sing. So I went down to the chapter that, that next week and I've been hooked on it ever since. Stand next to my dad in the truck and I would put my hand on his shoulder and we would sing a song called Side by Side and I would sing along. My dad is the kind of person that if you said something he would sing a song, he would, it would be a lyric to a song and he would start singing that song. I think my mother pushed me out in front of the church congregation when I was five. That's probably the first time that I sang in front of people. I discovered that I liked it, you know, because I like entertaining for people. You know, barbershop singing is more of, it's like a commitment, it's almost like a marriage. <laughs> yeah, but I like the fact that they, they make you a better singer. I wanted to achieve, I wanted to be a district champion, which I was, you know, and back in 1990, I, I rose to the, to the level of district champion uh, with a quartet from La Crosse, Wisconsin. I loved hearing 1990 when they won the district championship was a pretty big, he had never won one. That was like his personal like life goal. And when he won that, that was huge. Um, but I think personally, my favorite memories would be just people saying, at conventions, we would be somewhere and there'd be, they'd be like, oh, you're Ken Keeney, you're that great lead, sing a tag with me. And it, I felt like my dad was this huge famous person that everybody knew because everybody knew who he was and knew he was a lead and knew what quartet he was in and wanted to sing with him. I sang with the, with the chorus up in, up in Minneapolis, Great Northern Union, for, well, probably 10 years, something like that, and we achieved uh, international fame, I guess you could say and we were second place in the, basically in the world. If you're not going to be a professional singer, that's probably the next best thing. things where you could make your fun and, and have a good time and it doesn't cost you anything. And, it, and, it, and the songs that we sing are all fun songs. I mean, they're all good. They're all about good human relationships, you know, about loving somebody or things like that. Quartets these days are singing modern pop and rock and changing it into a four-part harmony with the classic chords. And it doesn't have to be Sweet Adeline and, you know, Mary Lou and some of those old classics. It, they're singing Disney and they're singing whatever's on the radio they can make into barbershop harmonies. Oh baby, baby, oops, you think I'm in love, that I'm sent from above, I'm not that innocent, bye, 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 bye. I'm 
doing this tonight You're probably gonna start a fight I know this can't be right Hey baby, come on Love you in the sleep When you weren't there for me So now it's time to leave And make it all alone I know that I can take no more It ain't no lie I wanna see you out that door Baby, bye, bye, bye I would never have gotten out of Harmony, Rochester area if it hadn't been for Barbershop. So you meet people from all over the world, you know, as far as that part goes. It isn't just the United States. You meet people from Sweden and Norway. Our family vacations were centered around his Barbershop contest conventions, practices. Um, our friends were all singers and barbershoppers, so we, you know, every Super Bowl we had a get-together where people literally sang. I mean, I just thought that's what everybody's family did. And, I, I don't really know when I figured out they didn't, because even some of my best friends in high school, their families were singers. We lived barbershop. We lived barbershop harmony. We lived coaches and contests and and performances. I just missed quite a few things because I was willing to make that sacrifice to be a better singer and also achieve some goals that you know that. I wanted to as far as uh, barbershopping is concerned. Barbershopping is like a family, you know, you meet a, a, a lot of people, men and women, and, and they all become lifelong friends. You know, musical instruments are great, but not a whole lot of people are going to play the flute when they're 40 years old. But your voice is a musical instrument that goes with you everywhere you go for the rest of your life. It's a different way of life. And how wonderful, G and you can step in time, 